In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this mixed media overpaint using the Cintiq tablet in Photoshop. Unlike other videos, I leave in the mistakes and experiments, and if you stick around to the end, I'll share the tricks I figured out for enhancing and sharpening those paint strokes. I'm a student of the game, just like you, so today, let's figure this out together. We've got another Photoshop experiment today, another one in our overpaint series, and this was actually the very first one that I did. I did this one before the oil paint experiment. So again, I'm learning dodge and burn alongside Photoshop overpaint. So what you see here is a bit of dodge and burn action over the original composite. The image that you see here is a, a composite made up of about seven different monster faces and body parts that I scored from Adobe Stock. So if you want to grab those, I'll put links for all of them in the description below. It's one of my favorite um, stock artists who does creature effects and things like that. So the first thing that's going on here, I'm using the Clinton Lofthouse dodge and burn technique. That's uh, curves with one set to, um, well, both are set to luminosity. One, the values are pushed up. One, the values are pulled down. Clinton Lofthouse has done a full tutorial on that, so I'll link that in the description. Today's video is about overpaint, so that's what we'll be covering. So the first thing I did was I downloaded a Kyle's Mega Pack from the Adobe website. Um, I'll put a link for that one below. And I was just going through different brushes, trying to see what works, what didn't work. So the first one I was using was um, a built-in Photoshop bristle brush. I messed about with a few of the um, the real paints from the Kyle's Mega Brush set, but in the end, I actually settled on a standard soft edge brush with the hardness set to 50%. Now, one thing to keep in mind for this overpainting action that you see here, the brush that I'm using, you can see that highlighted to the left is actually the mixer brush tool and the way that you access that is long click on the normal brush tool some options drop down and you can gain access to the mixer brush tool if you want to pause at any point you can see the exact settings i was using mixer brush presets and mainly cycling through the um, different brushes that are available so at the top you can see i have the moist preset the load brush icon is turned off and I have at the end to the right there uh, sample all layers turned on what that basically means is I can paint the overpaint effects onto a layer above the original artwork now I know a book cover guy that does his style brilliantly um, he actually does everything on one layer on the actual pixels themselves so that's living life on the edge I'm not that bold and I'm not that brave yet. So we've got a standard Photoshop brush, bristle brush active, and we have a new layer set to normal. I think the opacity has been brought down a bit. And simply painting strokes using that moist mixer brush preset over the top, following the contours, following the lines of direction. I'm starting to get a bit more of a handle on how to do this now. And I'm going around and following and you'll see periodically the layer one the base layer I'll turn that off and on the visibility um, the eye icon on the layer stack so I can see how the paintbrush tones on their own display and whether I like the look of the overall composite or not this is a little thing that I was throwing in from time to time I wanted to see how I could accentuate and pick out the details so one of my favorite things to play with in any kind of work that I'm doing it could be photo manipulation or overpainting that is using the camera raw function I'm particularly fond of the clarity the clarity is really really good I like to pump things up with clarity and see how it goes okay so I've had an experiment I've had a mess around and there's a base paint layer a formal layer and here you can see I just grab um, a bog standard soft edge I bump the hardness up to 
just over 70 percent so it's a bit in between the moist preset is active for the mix brush and sample all layers is switched on and to the right of sample all layers i actually had the um the size affected by pen pressure that's what that small icon is it's either that or opacity i can't exactly remember like i said i'm a new fish i'm learning this all for the first time myself not that long ago i'd never really ever used a tablet before so trying to kill quite a few birds with one stone here learning the Cintiq, learning overpaint learning dodge and burn all of this really really far out my comfort zone i've been using this software now for over 20 years and every single day i'm learning new stuff and because i'm running a youtube channel now trying to keep up with the psychos on my team i've got to up my skill set so that's what i'm doing here doing experiments sharing the experiments with you guys so here you can see the tones really starting to come together now every so often i might use that camera raw bump up the clarity or use unsharp mask to kind of sharpen things now that head there it looks stupid i won't really it, i don't know what it looked like it looked like an ice cream or a cone or something so ditched that went back to the drawing board and tried to follow the lines and the contours um a bit better how the original image and then the good thing about photoshop is you can delete things go back try again i really like to include mistakes in these videos because a lot of the stuff online is so polished and perfect and i don't think that truly represents the creative process mistakes are made you have to double back you try some things some other things don't work and at times you try your absolute best to get something figured out and you still can't do it so my goal is to get good at this overpaint stuff hopefully within 12 months and the comparison of the work i'm doing now compared to next year will be a lot lot better and by the way if you are doing your own overpaint experiments i'd really love it if you gave us a shout out in the comments below or even better in our facebook community if you dropped your artwork in there and gave us a little shout shout out we are small at this stage so we do pretty much reply to everything okay we're moving along at a pretty mean zip here um the kind of the the base tones were laid down and now what we're doing is we're accentuating the edges with an inky brush so i simply I'm, i have loads of brushes and i never use them i just use the the search bar to search out an ink brush found one that was pretty good and i'm literally just tracing around the edges and changing the width of the pen or the brush as per the things that i'm over tracing and this is more of a scratchy mixed media dave mckean style or a comic book Tem uh, ben temple smith style that, that i've always liked growing up reading the comics um, if you've read any ben temple smith comics shout us out in the comments below so it's starting to come together now the actual background um paint details abstract uh paint textures we created those in the studio ourselves my partner is a natural media fine artist so she's been producing loads and loads and loads of texture assets for us and, and paint brush strokes and this is how you can use them right we're nearing the end of this one guys the base tones were put down the scratchy ink was added over the top to highlight and accentuate the edges and then this is what i call global processing is where you take a stamps layer of what you have command alt shift and e it just makes a copy of everything at the top of the layer stack and then go through and then tweak the values on camera raw to get that final polished image like i said before i really like clarity but you can go overboard with it and then because i upgraded photoshop recently I've also been having fun messing about with the texture command. So we're just wrapping up and getting to the final bit here. If you're enjoying our content, be sure to leave us a like, comment and subscribe. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. And if you're interested in other overpaint experiments that I've been doing here, be sure to check out 
the video on the end card that will show you um, video one and video three will be coming up on there as well so i've had fun today working with you guys learning some new things i hope you did i will catch you at the next video see you then